Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Before I jump straight to the problem, I want to remind you of the free resources that I have. Number one, I have a guide named How to Evaluate Your Education in the United States of America. Number two, another guide about Shear Moment Diagram, which has a solved example and then a few examples that I have collected from various FU materials. If this sounds something that you might need, click the links below and you'll be able to download them for free. Now let's move on with our example. A tangent is drawn from the point 10, 1 to the circle with center 4, 6 and radius 3. What is the angle between the tangent and the radial line? Radial line. Let's go to the FE handbook and I will write circle. And here we are given the standard form of the equation with radius r and the center at hk. And lower, we're given length of the tangent line from a point on a circle to a point x, y, x prime, y prime. So this is pretty much what we are also having our problem. And in order to calculate the tangent, we are given this the formula. And in our case, we are asked to calculate this angle between the tangent and the radial uh, line. So let's first start by calculating the tangent. And then we are going to be able to calculate the angle. So let me just draw here the line to the tangent. And, and one thing you must know that where this radius intersects the tangent, the angle is a 90 degree angle. So which means that once we know the tangent here, we will be able to calculate the uh, angle alpha. Let's start from here. So if I want to calculate the angle alpha, that's what the problem is asking me. So I will do out of this right triangle, I will do tangent alpha will equal to the opposite catheter to the adjacent catheter. So this is what I'm going to do. I will do tangent alpha equals to the opposite catheter, which is the radius over the adjacent catheter, which is the tangent. So in my case, I know the radius. The radius is three. I have to calculate the tangent. So now going back to the FE handbook, the formula for the tangent is right here. So let's write it down. So tangent equals two x prime minus h squared x prime minus h squared plus y prime minus k squared minus radius squared minus radius squared. Perfect. Okay. So we are given the center, the h and k are four and six and the radius is three. So let's go ahead and calculate the tangent. We're going to have, and also x prime is 10 and y prime is one. So we have 10 minus h, which is four squared plus y prime is one minus k, which is six squared minus radius, which is three squared equals. Let me use my calculator here to quickly solve this problem. So I have 10 minus four, six 
squared, 25 plus nine minus. So the tangent equals to 52. Okay, so this, the formula says tangent squared equals to 52. So now tangent will equal to square root or 52. And this means tangent equals to 721. 721. All right, so now we know the tangent, we can go back to the initial formula we wrote and calculate the angle alpha. So tangent alpha equals to the radius, which is three over the tangent, which is 721. So we have three 721 divided get 0 0.416, 0 0.416. And from here, it results that alpha equals to arc tangent of 0 0.416, and it equals to 2259. 2259 degrees, which is approximately equal to 22.6 degrees. And looking at the answers, the correct answer is D. That's it for today. It was not a complicated problem at all. If you have any questions about this problem, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe because this helps people like you find me. Keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.